Alicia comes up, uh, there's definitely something that I, I want to do. Tomorrow, Chris Ronzio is speaking. Um, but before I, I mention what that's about, Joanne, I want you to come up on stage, and Brad, I want you to join it. <coughs> yep, I want you both to come on. I told you it was a surprise. Remember? I told you, what, yesterday? Or this morning? Something like that. So, Chris Ronzio, um, he's going to speak tomorrow. He's one of my coaches. I got a couple of my coaches speaking tomorrow, and I'm really excited about him. Chris is, yep, Chris is super efficient, and he helped build a lot of the process that we have today. And I remember when I first hired uh, Chris, all I wanted, all I wanted was to be more efficient. I had no systems in place. Tom, you were with us pre-Chris Ronzio. We, tell me about, just really quick, in like a, a, a second or two, what's the difference like between systems back when you were here the first time, back to when you came back? Yeah? Well, do we even have systems? A little bit more complicated, but it works. <laughs> there are systems and process, and that's because of Chris, right? He took the complex and made it simple. He was so great at it. I can't wait for you guys to hear him tomorrow. Um, but I remember when I first hired him, we sat down for our coaching session. I was so excited because the very first session is a brain dump. And he goes, okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to do a brain dump. Everything that you've ever wanted to accomplish, anything that you thought you wanted to work on, systems that you want to include, programs you want to do, everything. We're going to spend the next four hours getting everything out of your head. We're going to put it on paper. We're going to decide what action we need to work on now. And I was like, all right, so we just talk, we just talk. And about a half hour in, he goes, um, he goes, okay, cool. When's your next vacation lined up? And I said, uh, nah, I don't really have a vacation lined up. And he goes, oh, okay, you just take one. When's your last vacation? And I said, uh, yeah, I haven't taken a vacation. He goes, this year? I said, uh, ever. And I was like 32 or something like that. And he's like, you've never taken a vacation? I said, well, I was 15. My parents took me on a, on a cruise once for like a week. And he goes, you mean you and Marjan have been married for like five, did you get to take a honeymoon? I'm like, no, I didn't take a honeymoon. He's like, never, what, like a one day getaway, like a staycation somewhere like in Scottsdale. I was like, no. Never. Listen, dude, are we going to keep talking about vacations? I need to talk about how to make money right now. And you're in the way. <laughs> you're supposed to make this better. He said, look, you don't understand. You've got to find a way to be able to separate yourself, be able to take the time. You have to be able to appreciate. You have to have that thing to look forward to. It's that time to reflect. Now, this is a guy that takes 72 vacation days a year and he named his son a trip. Okay? <laughs> so I'm thinking, dude, you're just different. <laughs> you're not, you're, we're not the same. Don't make me you. And he said, well, here's the deal. Do you think I can help you? I said, yeah, I know you can help me. Okay, you wanna work with me? I said, yeah, he goes, here's the deal. If you don't plan a vacation, I will not work with you. I said, are you kidding me? He said, if you don't plan a vacation right now, if you don't make it happen, I will not work with you. I won't take you on as a client. So now I'm like, all right, should I sacrifice and take this stupid vacation just so I can be more efficient? I mean, if I go two days, he said two days. If I go two days, I can lose two days of my life and then I can be efficient forever. That sounds like a deal. I'll go ahead and waste these two days of my life, right? So he's like, all right, cool. Get out your laptop. I want you to go ahead and I want you to just go ahead and book the flight. We selected a date. We selected Huntington Beach. He said it was great at, at the Hyatt and a uh, uh, Hyatt Regency. Been there? It's really cool. That's where you propose? Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, awesome. I didn't propose there, but that's cool. So, so I open up my laptop. He's on his laptop. He's like, I'm going to look for the hotel stuff. You go ahead and you look for the uh, you look for the um, the flights. I'm like, all right. So I got the flights. Like, okay, cool. Book them. So I booked them. I'm like, all right, done. I closed my laptop. As soon as I closed my laptop, he closed his. He goes, cool, done too. And I said, well, wait. Don't you need me to pay? He's like, dude, I'm paying for your vacation. So I'm paying for your first vacation. Uh, so <laughs> they have never taken a vacation. I found this out yesterday. I found this out yesterday. Is this really true? Never just the two of us. We always go with our kids. Okay. Okay. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to one up Chris though. I'm going to not only pay for the resort for you guys to go for two nights, but I'm also going to pay for your flights. Okay. You guys work your asses off. You're for And guys, at the end of the day, it's about paying it forward. I'm not doing this because I like you guys so much, even though I do. It's because Chris did this for me. I got to move it on, and one day, you guys do it too. Is that cool? Yes?